The Octave Chanute Aerospace Museum, the largest aviation museum in Illinois, occupied part of the grounds of the decommissioned Chanute Air Force Base in Rantoul, Illinois. It and the base were named for Octave Chanute, railroad engineer and aviation pioneer. The museum was dedicated to the life and works of Chanute, the former air base, the history of aviation in the state of Illinois, and hosted an annual air show. Highlights of the museum included a collection of over 40 aircraft including military fighters, bombers, rescue, recon, and cargo aircraft. Many of these were used for training purposes at Chanute, and most were on loan from the United States Air Force Museum. Other exhibits of note included a replica of the Wright 1903 Flyer, a large collection of Frosca flight simulators, and tributes to the veterans who have served in America's conflicts and wars. The museum offered summer day camp programs, including a week-long aviation camp for teens and a science camp for elementary school-aged children. In addition, the museum offered various educational and social events throughout the year. The facility enjoyed direct runway access to Rantoul National Aviation Center Airport, Frank Elliott Field, another successful use of the former base facilities. Fly-in visitors were welcomed. Ample vehicle and bus parking was also available to accommodate groups. The museum closed on December 30, 2015. Topic. History Chanute Air Force Base operated in Rantoul from 1917 to 1993. After decommission, the cleanup and conversion of the 2,125-acre grounds began. Economic redevelopment of the former base was a paramount concern to the surrounding community. As of 2008, portions of the site are still unoccupied, due in part to environmental concerns including asbestos contamination. Nevertheless, much has been repurposed into civilian concerns. The Octave Chanute Aerospace Museum was one of the earliest efforts, opening in 1994. The museum was located in Grissom Hall, which functioned as the missile maintenance training facility during active Air Force operations. Until base closure in 1993, all Air Force Minuteman missile maintenance training was provided at Chanute. The building has largely been preserved and restored to its condition at the time of base closure, hence, four authentic Minuteman training silos remain on display at the museum. The museum was administered under the direction of a private foundation. The museum apparently closed ahead of schedule, as of November 1, 2015. The former Facebook link is dead, as is the museum's own web page, and closure on this date was reported by the TripAdvisor website. Topic. Status of known artifacts once at the museum Non-military and replica airframes Aronka 65LB Super Chief N34496 Fate Unknown American Aerolites Eagle Ultralight Fate Unknown Chanute 1896 Glider Replica Fate Unknown Curtis JN4D Jenny Replica Fate Unknown Foos Tigercat Fate Unknown Mong Sport Biplane N4253 J Fate Unknown Piper PA22135 Tri Pacer N8726C Fate Unknown Wright Flyer Replica Fate Unknown Frosca International in Urbana has taken back the flight simulators it had loaned to the museum Topic. Site visit July 2018 On a visit to the site of the former museum in late July 2018, it was noted that the site was not yet clear. 
On the tarmac of what was the outdoor section of the museum, the Douglas C-133A cargo master was seen still intact, as well as the McDonnell NF-101B Voodoo 56-273, which was to go to the Southern Museum of Flight in Birmingham, Alabama. Several other aircraft were in the process of being scrapped, portions of which could still be recognized. This included the front section of the fuselage of the Douglas JRB-66B destroyer, the front section of the fuselage of the North American CT-39A Sabreliner, the bottom half of the fuselage of the Boeing C-97G Stratofreighter, a portion of the rear fuselage of the Grumman HU-16B Albatross, and most of the fuselage of the Republic F-105B Thunderchief. Large engines were also seen, likely from the C-97G and the Douglas VC-47B Skytrain, as well as other pieces of fuselages. On a fence bordering the area was a sign with a legal notice attached to it to stop work. There were areas on the notice that could have been filled out, such as the date and which violations were found, but nothing was there. It is not known how long the notice was on the sign. Topic. See also List of aerospace museums